Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Army Public School and College Zamzaman of Shara Kent. Class 10. Week 9. Chapter number 6. Subject Mathematics prepared by Mr. Zafar Khatak. Textbook Mathematics 10. Science Group. Page numbers. 117 and 136 exercise 6.1 and 6.2 topic basic statistics resources required textbook objectives in this unit student will learn how to construct a group frequency table construct histogram with equal and unequal class intervals construct the frequency Polygon, construct a cumulative frequency table, draw a cumulative frequency polygon, calculate for ungroup and group data, arithmetic mean by definition and using deviation from as assumes mean. Calculate median mode, geometric mean, harmonic mean. Reorganize properties of arithmetic mean, calculate it, weighted mean and averages, estimate medians, quartiles and mode graphically, Major range, variance, and standard deviation. Previous knowledge. What is mean by average? What is mean by data? And differentiate between primary data and secondary data. Basic statistics. Introduction Frequency Distribution A frequency distribution is a tabular arrangement for classifying data into different groups and a number of observations falling in each group corresponding to the respective group. The data presented in the form of frequency distribution is called group data. Now, construction of frequency table on the basis of types of variable or data. There are two types of frequency distribution. These are the first one is discrete frequency distribution and the second one is continuous frequency distribution. So now the first one is discrete frequency table. Following steps are involved in making of a discrete frequency distribution. Find for the minimum and maximum observation in the data and write the value or values of variable in the variable column from minimum to maximum. Second one is record the observation by using tally marks. It means that by vertical bar. It is the bar which is vertical. Count the tally and write down the frequency in the frequency column. Now, so now, example one, five coins are tossed 20 times and the number of heads recorded at each thought or toss are given below. Which is three four two three three five two two one one two one four two two three three four two. So now, the frequency and uh, and the frequency and the uh, the uh, tally marks are given in the ta in their table. So in solution, let x be number of head. The frequency distribution is given below. These are x. The one is occurring three times, which is called a frequency. So in tally marks, we write three uh, vertical bar. And the two from this given uh, given below from these observations the two are occurring eight times so we write this one two three four and the five is given that one two three is so it means that five plus three eight three is occurring five times so it means that one two three four are the vertical bar and the last one is right at date uh, just like a diagonal so in four there are occurring four three times which is one two three so it means that uh, one two three and the last one which is five five occurring one time so it means that it will be occurring one time and one vertical bar now the second one is continuous frequency table the making of continuous frequency distribution involves the following steps find the range the range what is range range is is the maximum value minus minimum value which is the uh, being that the different shared between maximum and minimum observation the second one is decide about the number of groups 
which is denoted by k into which the data is also classified classified usually an integral between 5 and 10 so usually it depends upon the range which is minimum maximum minus minimum the larger the range the more the number of groups third one is determine the size of class which is denoted by h and the h is the range divided by k so use formula when b is not given so note the rule of approximation is relaxed in terms of h for example 7.1 or 7.9 is given so we round off the 7.1 and 7.9 as 8 fourth part is start writing the classes or groups of frequency distribution usually starting from the minimum observation and keeping in view the size of a class record the observation from the data by using tally marks count the number of tally marks and record them in in the frequency column for each class so by using these six points we use continuous frequency uh, distribution table so by uh, example number two the following are the marks obtained by 40 students in the mathematics of class 10 so these are the frequency distribution which is the size is 10 so it means that 51 55 32, 41, 22, 30, 35, 53, 30, 60, 59, 15, 17, 18, 40, 49, 40, 25, 14, and 18, 19, 2, 43, 22, 39, 26, 34, 19, 10, 17, 47, 38, 13, 30, 34, 54, 10, 21, 51, and 52. These are the frequency distributions. So X means that the marks of the student, which is X. So it means that, that from the frequency distribution, first minimum is 2 from these observation and maximum is 60. So it means that it given that the H is 10. So the reference is 10. We can either start from 2 or the nearest, the smallest integral 0 of or convenience. So for or convenience, there, for or convenience, there are two ways to make frequency distribution. So the first one is from 0 to 9, these are the groups classes or the groups 10 to 19 and 20 to 29 30 to 39 40 to 49 50 to 59 and 60 to 69 so it means that 0 to 9 is uh, the 2 and 7 are occurring uh, from 0 to 9 so it means that these are frequency occurring so is uh, two times which is 2 and the, uh, the number 7 these are the 2 and 7 now 10 to 19 these are the frequency distributions uh, observation which are 10 10 13 14 15 17 18 18 19 and 19 these are 10 so 20 to 29 21 22 22 25 26 these are occurring five times 40 to 49 these are occurring nine time and 50 to 59 these are observation uh, which is six times 50 to 59 is seven times 60 to 69 which is Number two, use tally marks for recording the observation in the respective group. This is given in the following table. So zero to zero to nine. So now these observation is which is occurring uh, frequency as a two. So tally marks as a two a vertical bar ten. It can write at written as that as earlier said that by four and then the diagonal is five. So twenty to twenty nine was occurring five time, which is five and thirty to thirty nine is occurring nine times so ten marks are nine one two three four and five and one two three four five plus four nine similarly forty to forty nine which is occurring six times fifty to fifty nine which is occurring seven times and sixty to sixty nine which is occurring from one time which is sixty so the total is a total frequency is forty so the solution b is usually adopted to construct a frequency distribution so student start the exercise 6.1 the following data show the number of member in the various families construct a frequency distribution also find cumulative frequencies we already done the uh, this type of uh, question in an example so 9 11 4 5 6 8 4 3 7 8 5 5 8 3 4 9 and these are the observation up to 7 so now start from the very uh, minimum number which is 2 so 
2 is occurring one time in this uh, this type of which is 2 is one time so 1 1 is and the 10 marks is 1 3 3 is occurring 3 times in this observation which is 3 4 is 4 times so it means that 1 2 3 4 time 1 2 6 time 1 2 3 4 and then 5 you can write this or or, or diagonal both are so 6 5 is uh, 5 is occurring 4 times 6 is occurring 3 times 7 is occurring 6 times 8 is occurring 5 times 9 is occurring and the 6 times and the 10 is occurring 2 times and 11 is occurring all uh, uh, similar to 2 times and the 12 is occurring only one time so the total frequency we you can uh, total the frequency which is 39 so the next one is also find the cumulative frequency so cumulative frequency is very simple 1 1 plus 3 is equal 4 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 so count the previous with the uh, present observation which is 14 plus 3 17 17 plus 6 23 23 plus 5 28 28 plus 6 is 34 34 plus 2 36 36 plus 2 38 38 plus 1 is 39 question number 2 the following data has been obtained after weighing 40 students of a class fifth make a frequency distribution making class interval size is 5 also find the class boundaries and midpoint so these are the two other topics which is different so these are the observations or also make the cumulative frequency distributions so hence are given which is class interval from 20 to 24 25 to 29 so these are class limits so 20 to 24 are occurring six times so it means that these are tele marks which is six times 25 to 29 is are occurring 10 times and they are given in the question so 30 to 34 35 to 39 and 40 to 44 so 30 to 34 in between there are uh, 12 observations so we can write 5 plus 5 10 plus 2 12 32 35 to 39 which is are occurring nine times so it means that these are 9 and 40 to 44 are occurring 3 times which is 3 vertical bars. So total of frequency is 40. So now starting the midpoint. So midpoint means 20 plus 24 divided by 2 is equal to 44 divided by 2 which is 22. Midpoint of 25 plus 29 is 27. 25 plus 29 divided by 2 is equal to 27 similarly 30 and 34 the midpoint is 32 the midpoint between 35 and 39 is 37 and 40 and 44 is obviously 42 so now class boundaries so now class boundaries is that boundaries which is we will given uh, the uh, minimum and the maximum so we will uh, decreases to 0 0.5 and increases to 0 0.5 it means that if will increase uh, decrease 0 0.5 so it means that 19.5 which is given 25 is decrease which means that 24.5 so decrease by uh, 30 by 0 0.5 which means that 29.5 and 34.5 and the last one is 39.5 from 24 is increasing which is 24.5 29.5 34.5 39.5 and 44.5 these are our class now less than cumulative frequency distribution so class boundaries are 14.5 19.5 which are added from uh, below 19.5 so it means that 19.5 to 24.5 24.5 to 29.5 29.5 to 34.5 34.5 to 39.5 and 39.5 to 44.5 so these are not uh, there are zero occurring so it means that their frequency will be zero and cumulative frequency also will be equal to zero so 19.5 to 24.5 which are occurring is six times so it means the zero plus six is six is your cumulative frequency 24.5 to 29.5 are occurring uh, the 10 frequency between uh, these two variables so 6 plus 10 is equal to 16 which is your cumulative frequency now 29.5 and 34.5 so in between there are 12 uh, observation are occurring so it means that 16 plus 12 is equal to 28 34.5 and 39.5 which 
there are nine observation occur occurring between these two values so it means that there are 28 plus 9 is equal to 37 is a cumulative frequency 39.5 and 44.5 which are occurring the observation in between them is uh, 3 so 37 plus 3 is equal to 40 so the total number of frequency is also 40 so cumulative frequency is equal to 40 now the less than 19.5 there are zero occurring no observation less than 24.5 there are six observation less than 29.5 there are 16 observation are occurring in if you uh, look at the uh, question so there are 16 observation less than 34.5 28 less than 39.5 there are 37 observation less than 44.5 there are 40 So, the most fre um, frequent load shedding from 6 to 7 hour. Find the least load shedding interval from 4 to 5. You will see clearly. Now, the next exercise, which is 6.2, the topic is measure of central tendency. So, first we will learn what, what is measure of central tendency. The speci uh, specific value of our variable around which the majority of the observation tend to concentrate this representative shows the tendency or behavior of distribution of the variable under study this value is called average or the central value the measure of or technique there are used to determine the central value are called measure of central tendency so there are the following measure, uh, measures of central tendency which will be discussed arithmetic mean median mode geometric mean harmonic mean and quartile we will learn these six types the first one is arithmetic mean arithmetic mean or simply called mean is a measure that determine the value observation of the variable under study of the dividing the sum of all values observation of the variable by their number of observation we denote arithmetic mean by x bar in simple we define arithmetic mean of n observation is equal to this symbol is called summation so it means that summation x divided by n summation x is the sum of all ways of the variations divided by number of observations so now computations of arithmetic mean there are two types of data so we will learn that there are two types of data which is group and ungrouped data so there are different method to find from ungrouped data and group data so from ungrouped data we use the approach to find mean these are as follows so by direct methods by definition methods it is a so it means that x bar is equal to summation x divided by n is equal to sum of all observation divided by number of observations. Second method is indirect shortcut or coding method. Number one is x bar is equal to a plus summation n d divided by n. Second is x bar is equal to a plus summation u divided by n multiplied by h where d is equal to x minus a and u is equal to x minus a divided by h and h is the class interval size of unequal intervals now in exercised find the arithmetic mean by direct method for the following set of data which is 12 14 17 20 24 29 35 to 45 so it is very simple sum of all the data divided by total number of data which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 divided by so the total is 196 divided by 8 is equal to 24.5 second part is arithmetic mean x bar equal summation x divided by n so sum of all the data divided by 7 so sum of all the data is 2030 and number of data is 7 so it is equal to 208 question number 6 the following data relate the ages of children in a school compute the mean age of direct and shortcut method which is indirect method by taking any provisional mean so these are the question question is class limit are 4 to 6 10 7 to 9 20 10 to 12 13 13 to 15 or 7 so the total number of frequency is 50 also commute geometric mean and harmonic mean in this question we have to learn about shortcut methods in compute the geometric mean and harmonic mean so now let's start the direct method so direct methods we need 4 to 6 7 to 9 10 to 12 13 to 15 so frequency are 10 12 30 and 7 it is the frequency so if there is occurring a frequency so the so question the formula will be changed from summation x to summation fx divided by summation f 
now we need x so x is the midpoint between these two intervals which is 5 8 11 14 so the summation uh, are summation f is 50 these are the summation f is 50 and number of fx so we multiply f with x which is 50 22 uh, multiplied by 8 is 160 13 multiplied by 11 is equal to 143 so 14 multiplied by 7 is equal to 98 which is summation fx summation means total so total is 451 divided by 50 is equal to 9.02 so the second one is the indirect or shortcut method so first of all we will find a so a is 11 so we will find 11 which is the midpoint of these are our x which is 11 so 4 to 6 5 10 20 30 and 7 these are the frequency obviously and the midpoint are 5 8 11 and 14 we have learned in the previous slide so now x minus a we will consider a as a 11 so 5 minus 11 is equal to minus 6 and 8 minus 11 is equal to minus 3 11 minus 11 is equal to 0 14 minus 11 is equal to 3 we assume the value of 11 which is the mid of these midpoint so formula is u is equal to d by 3 so we will find u u is minus 6 so minus 6 divided by 3 these it is the formula by shortcut method minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 0 1 will d is divided by 3 so f multiplied by d so f is multiplied by with d which is minus uh, uh, 60 and uh, a2s are 60 yeah, these are also minus 60 and 0 and 21 so it means that f is multiplied with d so now to, uh, 10, 10 6 are minus 60 20 minus multiply by minus is minus 60 and 13 multiplied by 0 which is obviously 0 and 7 3s are 21 so f u will be equal to f d divided by 3 these are the shortcut method which is minus 20 uh, indirect method minus 20 minus 20 f multiplied by u which means that f d divided by 3 f u will be the formula is f d divided by 3 minus 20 f multiplied by uh, d is minus 60 minus 60 divided by 3 is equal to minus 20 yeah, obviously minus 20 0 and 20 divided by 3 is equal to 7 so 50 these are the summation fd is minus 99 and summation fu is equal to minus 33 so you will remember the uh the, these two formula about d or about uh u you will uh, either use this formula or that formula so we will uh, find the first one the first one is fd so fd 11 is the uh, a minus 99 divided by 50 minus 99 divided by 50 11 minus 1.98 uh, so 11 is minus with uh, subtract from uh, 1.98 to get 9.02 similarly we uh, there are the second formula so 11 minus f u is minus 33 divided by 50 summation f is 50 the multiplied by 3 11 minus 99 divided by uh, 50 11 minus 1.98 will is equal to 9.02 so these are the two formula of indirect shortcut method seven the following data show the number of children in various families find more than median so these are the observations writing the observation is sending order these are the ascending orders mode is the most uh, mode mean that the most frequent observation which is r9 and 4 are arriving uh, more times so number of observation is 38 which is even number so it means that number of observation is 38 so now 7 19 and 20 are the observation which is 38 by 2 we divide 38 by 2 which is 19 so 19 and 20 are the two observations so 7 plus 7 divided by 2 is equal to 7 question number 9 the following frequency distribution the weight of our boys in kilogram compute the mean median and mode these are the class interval which is frequency given these are the class interval frequency are given summation f is is equal to 23 so we will find f because there are frequencies is involved in this uh, table so the formula is summation fx divided by summation f so we will find first the midpoint which is x and f is multiplied with x 
which are given to uh, these are the summation uh, these are the fx and the summation is 2 for 41 now class boundaries we will find the class boundaries also so class boundaries uh, I, I really uh, learned that there are uh, decrease uh, decrease by 0 uh, 0.5 so 0 0.5 and uh, increase by 3.5 so 0 0.5 to 3.5 3.5 to 6.5 uh, these are the similar uh, 18.5 to 21.5 so on so now these are the last one so 2 plus 3 so uh, the 0 0.5 to 3.5 are in 2 times so 2 into 2 plus 3 is equal to cumulative frequency 2 plus 3 and uh, th 8 uh, 5 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 4 14 and 14 plus 6 now 20 and 20 plus 2 which is 2 it uh, are there uh, 20 plus 2 22 and 22 plus 1 is equal to 23 so first of all the mean which is obviously x bar is equal to summation fx divided by summation f summation fx is 241 and summation f is equal to 23 so 10.478 so median are the class containing the 9 by tooth observation which is uh, 23 divided by 2 is odd so 11.5 mean that they are occurring between 9.5 to 12.5 so you will count the 11.5 which is 9.5 and 12.5 these are the 11.5 are occurring so 9.5 to 12.5 so 11.5 is occurring from 9.5 to 12.5 l is equal to 9.5 and c is equal to between these are 10 f is are also given 4 and h is obviously 3 so the difference between these two are 3 which is h these are the formula so l plus h by f n by 2 minus c so by putting these values of l h f so uh, these are 9.5 plus 3.4 23 by 2 minus 10 by simplifications your answer is 10.62 so 10.62 is your answer Now question number 12 calculate the uh, simple moving average of three years from the following data these are the data in solution these are the years and the values so the first one will be uh, take as dash so calculate the three years 102 108 and 130 which is 340 divided by 3 is 133 uh, 13 by 33 so after date uh, left the 102 so the uh, the other three will be uh, added so the sum of 3 108 130 and 140 is 378 by dividing by 3 so 126 which is which is the three year moving average now similarly 148 158 180 the sum of these three are 478 so divided by 3 is equal to 159.33 158 180 196 uh the sum of these three uh values which is 534 divided by 3 is equal to 178 180 196 and 1 210 the sum of these three observation are 586 divided by 3 195.33 is the three year moving similarly 210 220 and 230 which is the sum of these three are 660 so 660 divided by 3 is equal to 220 three year moving average thank you very much